Well, they won the most medals of any group, so maybe it was true. One of those guys was, in Los, was a Los Angeles boy, Sadao Munamori. You may have heard that name before. He was the first Japanese American to be awarded the Medal of Honor for an action that cost him his life in northern Italy during the terrible fighting to take the Gothic Line. The Gothic Line was one of those defensive strongholds the Germans held and held, and nobody could break through, and the 442 guys went in there and took it in like half an hour. Well, they had to climb this hill at night, which turned out to be this cliff almost straight up and down, and they told the guys, if you fall, don't cry out. And yeah, some guys fell, and they didn't cry out. We have Janice Trubit here, who has come to us all the way from the state of Hawaii. Her uncle was Sadao Munamori. I'm honored to be here, and would really like to thank the Kunitomi family for having me talk about my pilgrimage and meeting Sue. A wish fulfilled. Manzanar, 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 a name that I heard and whispered, I heard whispered by my mother and her friends while I was growing up in Hawaii. It was not until I went away to college in 1966 that I learned what Manzanar was all about. And it was not until I came here on a personal family pilgrimage that I would truly know in my heart what the word and place means. My mother, Yaiko Munamori Yokoyama, wrote down some of her stories, especially her childhood days in Glendale. She wrote of the troubling times of the internment when she was a surgical nurse. Her family was quite separated during the war with an older sister, Yuriko, married to a Japanese national who was fighting in the Japanese army. They were caught there visiting a sick relative when the war broke out, and she had a brother, Sadao, who was fighting in France and Italy with the famed 442nd Regimental Combat Team. Our family, like so many others, suffered a terrible loss when a telegram from the War Department arrived. The family was notified of his death at camp. There in northern Italy, late in the war in 1945, mom's brother, Sadao Munamori, a Nisei boy from Los Angeles, threw himself upon a German grenade to save his buddies. He was killed outright died a hero. Posthumously, he was awarded the Congressional Medal of Honor, the first Japanese American to win that award, and the only one in World War II. Sue and my mother were very close friends throughout the internment, and I find out, um, and they grew up together, even before coming here. And this bond continued many years, even after each were married and had raised their families. They confided in each other, However, my mother's stories ended in February 10th, 2003, when she passed away suddenly. Later, Sue contacted me and told me that my mother had told her of an interesting plan. My mother wanted to take some of the Italian soil where her brother Sadao had died to Manzanar and the site of the Munamori household. I had no idea that my mother had expressed such a wish. And so began the plans to make our family's first pilgrimage to Manzanar. In August 2004, my sister came from Connecticut with her two daughters and husband, and I came, flew in from Hawaii with my daughter, Julie Trupit. My close family friends, Signa Emmerich and her husband, came from Wisconsin. They met us at the Los Angeles International Airport, and we began our four-hour trek to the place called Manzanar. Along the way, it became apparent that we were driving into desolate ter terrain. All the descriptions that my mother had writ written flashed through my mind. I could hear her describing the hardships they endured at the base of Mount Whitney, the cold winters, the blazing hot summers, and the dust. The first evening in Lone Pine, we met Sue Embry and her niece, Carrie Kababa, at the motel. We exchanged a few stories, and then Sue gave me a wonderful gift. 
pictures of my mother and father's wedding in Wisconsin. Both she and my mother went to Wisconsin after getting out of Manzanar because jobs for internees were available there. It was obvious that what my mother and Sue had experienced together had kept them bonded for life. Two young Nisei women, far from their families, far from Manzanar relying on each other. Imagine young people being those two on their own in a country that hated them. I was so humbled that he, Sue, this soft-spoken, rather frail, frail lady, had taken the time and effort to come up for our Minamori Memorial. Arrangements for the next morning were made, and then all of us retired for the evening. The next morning, we bought flowers and made our way to the Manzanar National Historic Site. We turned in off Highway 395, and I saw the sign. Manzanar War Relocation Center at the guardhouse. Tears swelled into my eyes. It was the exact scene of a watercolor sketch my mother had hanging in her bedroom. I remember her saying to me, that's Manzanar. Someday I'll tell you what happened there. Alisa Lynch was waiting for us at the visitor center and after exchanging greetings and relating our familial connections, we made our way through the Manzanar camp. Not much was left, quite desolate except for shrubs and bushes and an occasional tree, which, which once, what once was a city of about 10,000 souls had been given back to nature. Walking on the soft, sandy ground was difficult, and once again, my mother's haunting stories came back to me. I imagine I could hear the whistling of the strong winds as it penetrated the cracks and knot holes of the barrack walls, bringing in sand and dust every day. I thought of my family there in the dark of the barracks at night. One time, my grandmother, Nawa Munamori, was not feeling well, so my mother went out to get food for her from the cafeteria. But by the time she returned, the food was coated with sand, and it was quite inedible. We walked and found ourselves near the hospital where my mother had worked, and soon after we had gotten our bearings, we zeroed in on the exact place of the Munamori residence, Block 34. Silence fell over the group, and in reverence, each of us offered our prayers. Whew, we finally made it. No services had been planned, but instinctively, each of us placed flowers on the site, then we took out the small containers and sprinkled the vials of Italian soil onto the sands of Manzanar. The journey home for Sadao, from Italy where he died a hero, to Manzanar where his family was incarcerated, the last place that he knew where his family had lived, was now complete. May the Munamoris, my grandmother Nawa, Mother Yaeko, Uncle Isao, Uncle Sadao, and Aunt Kikuyo rest in peace together. Here on the site of that place, of that word, of that memory, of a time so long ago, yet still present in our hearts, this place called Manzanar. Thank you, Sue Kunitomi Embry, for contacting me so we could accomplish our families personal pilgrimage. My sister, Jereen Wachtel, and I are greatly indebted to you for telling us about my mother's wish. Thank you, Sue, for being such a good friend to my mother and to our family. Thank you, Sue, for all that you did to have this man's in our sight preserved. We will never forget you. <laughs>